Today, I'm going to show you how to create a custom Atmos demo playlist where you can easily and quickly access all of your favorite demo scenes for your home theater. Now, how is this going to make your life better? Well, when you bring people into your theater, you want to show them what it can do, right? So you play them your favorite demo clips. But that typically involves loading up a disc in the player, and then you load the movie, and then you have to scroll to find the scene, and then you go too far, and you're like, oh, I gotta, I gotta go back, scroll back too far. Oh, oh, that's good, okay. And then the scene plays, and then it ends, and then you have to get up, you have to swap the disc, and then you have to do it all over again for the next scene. Or if you're streaming, you still have to, you know, select the movie and then you have to scroll around until you can find the exact scene. It's like, oh, was it here? Oh, no, I think it's further back. Oh, it's further forward. And then you finally find the scene and it's, it's just kind of clunky and it's kind of awkward. What this is going to do is going to give you immediate access to all of your favorite demo clips. And all you have to do is just select them and then they play. They start exactly where they're supposed to start and they end right where they're supposed to end. And then as soon as it's done, you can either let it play on to the next clip or you can back out of it and choose a different clip. This is a super cool feature. Now, in order to do this, the first step is you have to have a Zadu media player. Now, here in my tiny theater, I have the Zadu Z9X 8K. And in my main theater, I have the Zadu UHD 8000. Either player will work, and they have a couple other mid-level uh, models that are between these two, uh, but any one of them would work. So the first step is fire up your Zidoo player, and you'll go to the home screen right here. Now, what you'll do is you will scroll over to the gear, which is the settings option. Select that, and then you'll notice up in the upper left-hand corner, you're in the playback menu. And so from there, you can, you can scroll over uh, to the other main menus across the top there. Uh, and so what you'll want to do is scroll over to the other, the one that's all the way to the right, that main menu. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to make sure that you have the latest firmware version. Uh, this feature that I'm going to show you and explain how it works, uh, it was previously broken. I tried to make this video a couple months ago and I spent hours trying to get this function to work and I could not get it to work. And I finally concluded that it was a bug, that, that, that it was broken. So I reached out to my contact at Zadu and I let them know what I was trying to do uh, and what it was actually doing and how we needed to fix it. And so they were able to get this fixed and it's, the fix has been released in a new firmware version. So go to the other, the menu across there at the top and then scroll down and then you're going to scroll all the way down to where it says upgrade and select the upgrade and then scroll over to update and you go to update. Now, I am running the latest version as of the moment that I'm making this video, version 1.2.22 is the latest version. There may be a version later than that and when you're watching this video, that's fine, but you need to have at least version 1.2.22. And the way you get that is you scroll down here where it says receive the beta version, make sure that box is checked. You'll check that box and then scroll up to online update, select online update. Now, of course, my uh, Zadu is, that is the, it's already updated to the latest version 1.2.22. So there is no version to update, but what you'll need to do is select that and then go through the update process. If you have a version that's before 1.2, like say you have 1.1.05. Okay, well, you need to update it. Now, here's the thing. With Zadu, when you, when you update it, it doesn't actually update to the very latest and most current version that is available. It updates to the version that's past the one that you're currently on. So you may have to do this several times. You'll have to update it. It'll download the update. It goes through the whole process of installing it, and then it'll restart your Zadoo. And then you'll come back to this, uh, this uh, up, update uh, menu and go through this process again. Hit online update and keep doing this until you finally get to where it says uh, your software is up to date. You may have to do this three, four, or five times uh, going through this update process. So the point is, Keep doing this until you get to version 1.2.22, 1 
or beyond. Once you've done that, then you are ready to set up this custom demo clip feature. And to do that, you go to the playback menu in the upper left-hand corner, and then you scroll down to the menu that is called Digital Signage Mode. This is not an intuitive name. It's not named something that you would immediately think, oh, this is where I create custom demo playlists. But that's what this is, Digital Signage Mode. Once you're there, scroll over and select Configure Playlist. Now you're at this blank screen where you have no playlist. So select the plus button in the upper right hand corner. And then once you hit that, you'll name your Atmos or however you want to name. I'm going to call it Atmos because these are all my favorite Atmos uh, demo clips that I'm going to put in this in this playlist. So I'm just going to name it Atmos. And once I have that, then you just hit the return button and it'll return you out here, scroll down, hit OK. Now I've got the folder. So now I can select that. Now I can start adding clips to it. So the first option in the upper right hand corner is a plus sign with a folder. This is where you can add an entire folder of clips. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to select the next option, which is just to add a single file. So I'm going to hit that. Now I'm going to go to my Atmos demo uh, folder that has all of my videos that are the Atmos uh, and immersive audio uh, demo clips. It's Cause I've got, I've got some Dolby Atmos in here. I also have some Trinov uh, uh, trailers that they put out, they're all in here. Now here's the key thing. You can do this with any video file you want. So these are all just like Dolby Atmos demo clips, but you can do this with movie clips as well. Like say the opening scene of Greatest Showman, you'll be able to put that in here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do that. You can do clips from Mission Impossible or Ready Player One, any movie you want, any movie that you have a file of that your Zudu can access, you can add to this playlist. So we're going to add, say, the altitude. This is uh, from Trinov. So we've added that. Now let's add a second one. Let's do, let's select here. Let's do the Atmos. I really like this one. This one's uh, kind of musical. Now, at this point, I've added the entire demo clip. So if I select this, if I select the altitude clip, it's going to play the clip from the opening second all the way to when it ends, which is great for these Dolby Atmos demo clips because you do wanna show people the entire clip. But what if it's a movie and you only want to show, you know, a minute and a half that's in the middle of the movie, right? How do you do that? Well, what you do on your remote, you select the button, it's, look at the, uh, the directional keypad, the up, down, left, right. So you've got that on your remote. And then down just next to that in the lower right-hand corner is a button where you select that and it brings up this option that is favorite scene bookmark setting. And here you're able to specify exactly what part of this video you want to play. So let's let's pretend that this altitude file, let's pretend that this was The Greatest Showman, right? And you wanna show the opening scene of The Greatest Showman. Well, obviously you want it to start at the very beginning of the movie, the, the opening, right? So for the start, you would just leave that hour zero, minute zero, and second zero. But then, and let's, we're just pretending here that The Greatest Showman at opening number, let's say it ends at minute one, minute and 23 seconds. And so what you would do is you would set this to 23 seconds and then go over, scroll up to okay. And now you have this icon here, right, right here, this little running man. That means that you've specified a specific timestamp for that video file. So when you play it, it's only going to play from where you set it to start to where you set it to end. Now this is super cool because this removes the need for scrolling. You no longer have to go searching for your video clip, like where, you, where that 
specific demo scene is, you'll just you'll be able to find it once. You go to the movie, watch it, you know, write down exactly when the clip starts and when you want the clip to end, and then you specify it here. Now, once you've done this for all, and you've added all the files that you want, you know, say it's you've got five video clips or ten or twenty or whatever. Once they're all here, now you can scroll around and select them individually. Like say you want to watch just the second one, you select it and it will play that video clip. It, either the whole thing, if that's what you've specified, or it'll play just the specific timestamp that you've, you've specified. And then once it finishes, it will automatically go to the next file that you have set up. But if you don't want that to play, you just hit the back button and you just back out of it. And then you're back at this menu and then you can scroll around and select which demo clip you want. So the, the cool thing about this is it gives you total accessibility for when you are demoing your home theater. If you have, say, a, a list of 10 clips and you, you bring somebody in, you're like, I want to give them just my, my 10 favorite. You would just select the first one hit play, and it would just play right through. Boom, 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 next clip, next clip, next clip, all the way through the end. You have that option. Or you can bounce around and you can say, oh, let's watch this one. Oh, now I wanna watch that one. And it's super, super easy. This is an incredibly cool tool. I hope you're able to make use of it in your theater. And thanks for watching.